Yes, good morning. This is Andrew from My Investor's Place. My Investor's Place is a social networking website looking to connect investors that are interested in uh, discussing and networking with other investors. Um, what I'd like to discuss this morning is how hedge fund managers and commodity trading advisors look to trade the momentum on different commodities and really some of the tools that they use or actually some of the ideas. The basic premise is many hedge fund managers look to rank the different uh, commodity markets, stock markets and what have you. And um, really what the point is, look to buy the strongest, the ones that are going up, and sell the weakest. I mean that's pretty much the basis from what a hedge fund did with stocks, but there's hedge funds that specialize in with commodities that are doing it, or actually they just sub, they actually give some money to CTAs, commodity trading advisors, to do this. This is just one strategy. It's almost like a trend following strategy. And what seems to be is there's over a hundred different markets, and then it all really depends on the liquidity of these markets. But just a thought and an idea that I've seen and I think is very uh, smart is to rank the markets. What is the point of ranking them? You develop a dynamic universe. Instead of trying to trade every market, look to buy the strongest, look to sell the weakest. But there's a lot more to it besides just identifying them. Really the most key important fact is how do you put on a low risk trade? Because unfortunately what we've seen with let's say Osprey Wingspan and other hedge funds and for that matter many many stock related trading firms have blown up this year because of the leverage that they've used. So really what the key is how to put on a low risk trade. Not how much I can make but how much I can lose. What will this cost me to see if this trade works? So the first idea is to identify the strongest and the weakest and the two simple ways are you can do a rate of change or you can do a relative strength. Rate of change is you're looking at the let's say today's period or weekly period and you look back X number of periods and what other let's say successful managers do is they smooth these results. They might look at a two week, a five week and a seven week rate of change and smooth them. So what they do is they can actually quantitatively identify their strongest markets as well as the weakest. That becomes their universe. Then the, then the next thing is how much are they risking per trade? If a hedge fund manager or CTA doesn't think in those terms, they're going to have a problem one day. They're going to have a, a rude awakening one morning. So they have to figure out what will this trade cost me to see if it will work initially. Then the next level would be very interesting to see is if that CTA or that hedge fund manager groups their risk or looks at how much risk is in that sector. That's a very important factor because you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. You want to diversify because you know one day the grains might all be going up, going up, going up and then they might turn around. Or the currencies or the metals or the energies. Things kind of seem to be that way even though that a lot of these things are really very correlated anyway. But the whole key is trying to mitigate some of the risk. Um, then the next issue could be is look at the open trade equity or how much money do you have open at any one time. A prudent manager doesn't want to have that much open trade equity because he can give it all back. And really the whole thing we're trying to do is bank some profits or lock in some profits. So when you're going into a hedge fund or you're going into a commodity trading advisor, you want to seem to ask these questions. You really want to understand the risk. Not what they've made and just look at the, you know, those numbers. Those numbers really don't mean that much because one day they're going to have a drawdown which can implode all those great results. So my name is Andrew. I'm with Investor's Place. Uh, it's a social network where I invite you all to come and discuss ideas. You can post your blogs. Um, hopefully we're gaining members. We just started this. And the point of blogging is that all our pages are optimized for SEO. So you're going to get greater um, rankings with, S you know, with Google and everything. And you'll get greater exposure once we get up and running. And then for investors just to learn and to chit chat amongst other ideas and to learn. I mean that's what we're really here for is to network, to meet people, make friends and grow together and get more knowledge. So again I welcome you to come to My Investor's Place. It's www.myinvestorsplace.com and hopefully you join us and um, good luck trading in these volatile times.